Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion at ito ang K-Check. This is it, our last weekly finals. Today's winner will move on to our semi-finals next week with the hopes of making it into our final four. A few more hurdles to go contestants. Wag na nating patagalin. Good luck everyone. So sino ba ang ating wini-wish na good luck? Ang apat nating daily winners na dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Unang-una, si Kay who is a BA Theater Art student from UP Diliman. Aside from performing, she likes to read books, play instruments, play video games, and watch movies and TV shows. Her interests include anime such as Sailor Moon and the K-pop girl group Red Velvet. Si Jez naman ay isang proud BS Computer Engineering student of UP Diliman and is just as proud to be a Cebuano. He enjoys dancing, growing, video games, and playing with his pet cats. He also enjoys collecting merchandise from his various favorite animated series and games. Si Cynch ay isang fourth-year BS Speech Pathology student from UP Manila. She likes to watch movies, read novels, play computer games, and crochet. She listens to pop, punk, and K-pop. Last but not least, we have Diane who is a speech pathology student from UP Manila. She loves watching series, reading books, and writing novels and poems. She also loves to listen to K-pop and her ultimate K-pop favorites are n Pen and Seventeen. And these four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of our K-Check panel of experts. Ang ating mga suki po, unang-una, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History, and of course, Assistant Professor Marle Endriga of the Department of Biology in UP Manila. At ngayon, mga contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. So, get ready to buzz in. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one, contestants. Yakutsk is the coldest city on Earth with temperatures reaching minus 52 degrees Celsius. In what country can you find Yakutsk? Diane. Um, United States of America. United States of America is wrong. Sin. Russia. Russia is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Which single by Frank Sinatra was worded in English by Paul Anka and spent 75 weeks in the UK Top 40? Diane. My way. Ito din ang kanta na naging bunsod ng maraming away sa karaoke. My way is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. Which school in England is the world's second oldest university in continuous operation? Diane? Oxford University. Oxford is the old, second oldest university in continuous operation, having existed as an organized entity since the 13th century. Oxford is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. What term refers to a diagram that depicts a process, system, or computer algorithm which was introduced? Yes, Chess. Flowchart. The flowchart was introduced by Frank and Lillian Gilbreth in 1921. Flowchart is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In what Caribbean country was Prime Minister Gary Coneal hospitalized in the capital of Port-au-Prince just days after he was installed in June 2024? Diane. Haiti. Haiti is the correct answer. K-check. Up to date sa current events, Diane. Question number six. Which first-person looter-shooter video game 
that takes place on the planet Pandora will soon have a movie adaptation starring Kevin Hart and Jack Black. The correct answer is Borderlands. Are you familiar? Anyone familiar with Borderlands? Wala talaga. Question number seven. What animal describes a court that disregards the principles of law to try someone as guilty of a crime? The correct answer is kangaroo. Uh, the term kangaroo court. Question number eight. Which English word that was originally a Norwegian term refers to a narrow sea inlet with steep cliffs? Jez. Fjord. Fjord is the correct answer. Keche. Question number nine. In mental math this time, what is the value of x if 8x plus 1 is 65? K. Eight. Eight is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number 10. The Pasayahan sa Lucena was celebrated on May 22 to 31, 2024. In what province was this festival held? Sin. Quezon. Quezon is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number 11. Which female Canadian singer's most recent hit singles? are 1035, Greedy, and Exes. K. Wait. Anyone can steal? Sin. Tate McRae? Tate McRae is the correct answer. K. Check. Mental note to self, look up Tate McRae on Spotify later. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Blue and white are the names of the main tributaries of which African river? The correct answer is the Nile River. And that's it for our first round. So after that first round, we have Sin and Diane tied in first place with 30 points each, followed by Jess with 20 points and Kay with 10 points. So we have two more rounds to go and in the end, we will reveal our final weekly winner. Itutuloy po ang competition sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy po rin ang ating karunungan check. Again, after that first round, we have Sin and Diane in tied in first place with 30 points each, followed by Jess with 20 points and Kay with 10 points. And now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, may twist sa round na ito. Sa round na ito, each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Good luck sa inyong lahat. Let's begin. This is now round two. Question number one, contestants. What word that refers to someone who follows or helps another person is part of the title of a 2024 Star Wars TV series featuring the twins May and Osha? The title of the 2024 Star Wars TV series is Acolyte. Question number two. Republic Act 11996 is an act protecting the welfare of workers in the movie and TV industry. Which actor was this Republic Act named after? Diane. Eddie Garcia. Eddie Garcia is the inspiration behind Republic Act 11996, also known as the Eddie Garcia Law. K check. Question number three. Fill in the blank with an animal's name to complete an idiom that describes someone clumsy, like, and this is the idiom, a blank in a china shop. Yes, K. Bull. A bull in a china shop is the correct answer. K check. 
Question number four. In June 2024, great deposits of rare earths were discovered inside a volcano in Norway. What rare earth element has the symbol Y? Diane. Yttrium. Yttrium is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What is the title of the third best-selling manga of all time, which narrates the adventures of investigative high schooler Shinichi Kudo? Jez. Detective Conan. Detective Conan or Case Closed is the correct answer. K check. Ilan ba ang ating anime um, or manga buffs dito? Kwantila. Okay. Question number six. What fibrous material, known as woolly rock, was once widely used for construction and fireproofing, but was banned in some countries because it caused lung diseases? Woolly rock is also known as asbestos. Uh, the MTRCB requires that no uh, words, no offensive words be used during our broadcast. Maraming salamat. <laughs> then joke lang, joke lang. Anyway, question number seven. Which Spanish tennis player has won 14 men's singles titles at the French Open before losing right at the first round in 2024? Napaka-tentative ni Dian. Yes, Dian. Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. What is the official language of the Netherlands? Dian. Dutch. Dutch is the correct answer. K-check. Ang tentative. Pero tama naman ang sagot. Question number nine. What French term may mean a thin pancake or... Sin. Crepe. Crepe or crepe is the correct answer, which may mean a thin pancake or a thin cloth with a surface that has wrinkles. K check. Question number 10. Which Scottish scientist discovered an antibiotic mold that helped him produce? Yes, sin. Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming discovered an antibiotic mold that helped him produce the wonder drug penicillin. K check. Question number 11. What musical notation indicates that notes should be played with a short, detached sound? K. Pizzicato. Pizzicato is incorrect. The correct answer is staccato. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What unit of capacity is about 33.8 fluid ounces? Chez. A pint. Can you, can you repeat your answer? A pint. Pint is incorrect. Thirty-three point eight fluid ounces is equivalent to a liter, and that's it for our second round. Kamusta hina man natin ang scores ng ating mga contestants after that second round? We have Dayan in the lead with one hundred and ten points, followed by Sin with seventy points, Jazz with thirty, and K with twenty points. Pero hindi pa natin alam kung sino nga ang magiging ultimate winner natin dahil meron pang ultimate pagalingan round next here on K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Another points recap. Before we proceed, we have Diane in the lead with 110 points. Sin with 70, Jazz with 30 points, and K with 20 points. Pero tulad ng sinabi natin, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating ultimate pagalingan round, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero tandaan contestants, may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. 
And for this multiple choice round, just a reminder, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So contestants, let's go for those points and for the win. Wag na tayo magantay pa. Let's begin. So let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, contestants, there's a total of 360 points in this last round. So to kick it off, Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Attorney Gabby. Anthropomorphism is the attribution of human traits, emotions, or intentions to non-human entities, which is not an example of Anthropomorphism A. Mickey Mouse B. Bugs Bunny C. SpongeBob SquarePants D. Wally E. Snow White Sin E. Snow White E. Snow White is correct. A. Check Prof. Sophie is happy that her first question has been answered. Tingnan natin if Prof. Neil will be happy as well. Prof. Neil. Ito ay ang tawag sa mga napasailalim sa patakaran ng sapilitang paggawa. Nasaklaw nito ang kalalakihang may edad na 16 hanggang 60. Dayan. Polo e servisyo. Bale. Na may kakayahang maglingkod sa mga pasilidad at paggawaan ng kolonyal na pamahalang Espanyol. A. Kasama B. Indio C. Obrero D. Polista E. Servidor Sin C. Obrero Bale E. Servidor. Mali. K. Um, B. Injo. Mali. <laughs> <laughs> so, ang naiwan na lamang ay... Ang naiwan, konektado dun sa sagot ni Diane kanina. So, yung patakaran, tawag ay polo. Yung kasama, yung naglilingkod sa ilalim ng patakaran ng polo, ang tawag sa kanya ay Letter D, Polista. Okay. Prof. Marla. Environmental Science. What is the term for a species that influences the survival of many other species in an ecosystem? A. Ecosystem Diversity. B. Keystone Species. C. Habitat Destruction. D. Genetic Diversity E. Species Richness C. B. Keystone Species B. Keystone Species is correct. K-check. And Prof. Marla is also happy. Second round. Let's begin the second round. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. In Italian 18th century opera, male sopranos, mezzo-sopranos, and contraltos were the first operatic superstars. It is estimated that during the 1720s to 1730s, at least 4,000 boys underwent a medical procedure annually in order to achieve this status. No, yung soprano superstar. What were these young men called? A. Falsetti B. Castrati C. Countertenors D. Trebles E. Altos Sin A. Falsetti Mali po K. C. Countertenors Mali po Trebles Mali po. Yes. Castrati. Okay. Um, in my question, no, I mentioned an, a medical procedure. That medical procedure was actually castration. No, so it was 
uh, kind of yung puberty blockers so their voices won't change. So, B. Castrati is correct. K. Check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Sophie, Prof. Neil. The Negros Island region is the country's newest region that comprises Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental, and this island province. A. Biliran, B. Camigin, C. Catanduanes, D. Guimaras, E. Siquijor. Yes. E. Siquijor. Okay. Nakuha ni Jess kasi galing siya sa Central Visayas at bahagi ito dati ng Region 7 or Central Visayas. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Sikihor, K-Check. Medyo maluwag na sa didi mo ngayon, Prof. Neil, kasi meron ang nakasagot ng katanungan mo. Prof. Marla. Which instrument is used to measure humidity? A. Hygrometer. Diyan. Hygrometer. Let me finish reading the choices. B. Thermometer. C. Barometer. D. Manometer. E. Altimeter. The correct answer is A. Hygrometer. K-check. And after that second round, well, Diane is back in the lead. For a while, you lost that first place ranking. But Diane is back in the lead with 110 points, followed closely by Sin with 100 points, Jess with 75, and Kay with negative 10. So we have two more rounds remaining with a total of 180 points. So tapusin na natin, Prof. Sophie. Kwat Kiapo Landmark, built in 1976, features a dome surmounted by a crescent moon. A. San Sebastian Church B. Kiapu Church C. Golden Mosque B. Shin. C. Golden Mosque Delay ko lang yung ano, options D. Ocampo Pagoda Mansion E. Manila Metropolitan Theater And the correct answer is C. Golden Mosque no, So it was built for a visit a failed visit by um, Libyan President Muammar al-Qaddafi back then. No? So, Golden Mosque is correct. Okay, check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Sophie. At dahil dyan, Sin is back in the lead with 130 points. Prof. Neil. Sa kabihas ng Pilipino, ito ay ang mga kaluluwa ng mga yumaong ninuno, mga spirito ng kalikasan, at o mga Diyos. Sin. Anito. Okay. Tatapusin ko lang yung tanong at yung mga Diyos sa mga sinaunang pananampalataya. Ito ang mga choices. A. Anito, B. Bathala, C. Lakan, D. Timawa, E. Omalohokan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A. Anito, K-check. 160 points na si Sin. Prof. Marla. Which of the following terms refers to the formations created by mineral-rich water dripping from the ceilings of limestone? Stalactites. Let me finish with the question. From lime, uh, ceilings of limestone caves. A. Stalagmite. B. Column. C. Stalactite. D. Karst. E. Cavern. The correct answer is C. Stalactite. And that's the end of the third round. We have one more round to go with Sin in the lead with 160 points, Diane with 110, Jess with 105, K with negative 10. There are 90 points left in this last round. Prof. Sophie. The 2017 Disney movie Coco follows the adventures of a 12-year-old boy, Miguel, in the land of the dead during his family's observance of Dia de Muertos. There, one of the colorful characters encountered by Miguel is which famous Mexican painter? A. David Alfaro Siqueiros B. Leonora Carrington C. Diego Rivera 
D. Frida Kahlo. K. Frida Kahlo. E. Gael Garcia Bernal. They're all Mexicans, but the artist who made a cameo in Coco is Frida Kahlo. K. Check. 60 points left. Prof. Neil. Ito ay ang sistemang pang-ekonomiya kung saan ang batayan ng kaunlaran ay nasusukat sa dami ng ginto o pilak na pag-aari ng isang bansa. A. Kapitalismo B. Kolonyalismo C. Imperialismo D. Mineralismo E. Mercantilismo Sin. D. Mineralismo Bale Mercantilismo Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Mercantilismo, K-Check. Last question for this round, Prof. Marla. Which of the following ecosystems has a mix of salt water and fresh water? A. Ocean B. River C. Lake D. Estuary E. Wetland Diane. Um, estuary. Correct answer is estuary. K-check. Naku, and that's it for our K-check ultimate pagalingan round. What a very, very, very close fight. But we have to have one ultimate winner for today. Congratulations to Sin, our last K-check weekly winner. With a final score of 145 points. We will see her in the semifinals next week. Maraming salamat kay Diane who had who gave Sin a very tough fight with 140 points. Maraming salamat din kay Jez and Kay for joining. And of course, sa mga miyembro ng ating panel of experts, Professor Sofia, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for our much-awaited semifinals here on KCheck. Woo!